Hi, this is a quick introduction to creating videos for the game Second Life. Now for this, I am assuming that you are using Windows 10. The reason that we want to use Windows 10 is because it includes the game DVR, which is located within the Xbox app. Also, we want to have HitFilm for Express. Now these two things combined can help you create decent videos for the game Second Life absolutely free. First, let's open up the Xbox app and then we can go to the settings to make sure that everything is the way we want it to be. You want to also set up your hotkeys. If you don't have an Xbox account, go ahead and set one up. Your Xbox account is essentially the same thing as your Microsoft account. Over on your left, click on the little cog that says settings. Next, click on Game DVR. Once we're in Game DVR, we want to first make sure it's turned on. Pay really close attention to those shortcut keys because you're going to have to know them later, so you might want to write them down. As we scroll down, decide which settings you want, and then when we get to the very bottom, we have video encoding. Make sure this is on the highest setting that you can get it on. You want your video recording to be high. You want your resolution to be high so that you won't have a blurry video. At this point, you're ready to start recording. So close the Xbox app and open up Second Life. Once you get into Second Life, you want to go to wherever or whatever event you want to record and then when you're ready to record you want to hit the Windows key plus G. This will open up the game bar. Now the first time you open this up Windows will verify that it is in fact a game that you are starting the game DVR for and then in the future Windows will always record that. Anyway you want to hit Windows G and you want to hit the record button and you know that you're recording by the little indication bar up in the top right. When you're done recording you want to hit Windows G again and go to stop. So let's record two or three little short clips and we will use that to create the video later. Of course you want your video to look nice. So you have to remember that you want to detach all of your HUDs. You also want to hit Control plus Alt plus F1. This is really necessary because it takes away the user interface. So you want to get rid of the UI. You probably want to get rid of any usernames. You can do that through preferences, but most definitely detach your HUDs. In most of my videos, I keep up my Lumi Pro HUD just because I use it a lot, but and it's not very noticeable, but you probably want to get rid of all of those things. You also want to notice that the mouse shows up on your videos. So if you're using, if you're not using Action or Fraps or something, when you record your videos, move your mouse down into a corner that isn't very noticeable so that you can crop it out later. Now we're ready to start putting our video together. I hope you remember where you saved your video clips. If you don't remember, open up your Xbox app and go and look at the settings and it'll tell you where you saved your clips. Next, we want to sign up for, download, and install HitFilm for Express. Once HitFilm is installed, you want to go to New. And under New, Project Settings will be there. So you want to make sure that the template that you choose is 1080p, which is Full HD. And you can decide if you want to go with 30 or 60 frames per second. Right now, we're going to go with 29.97 frames per second because that would be decent quality. And now you want to hit Start Editing. Our work area is now here, so let's import our little video clips that we made. So click on import and browse to the area where your clips are. 
Remember, if you have more than one clip, you could select it all and import more than one at one time. Now that we have our clips, let's add them to the timeline. So now to choose which clip you want to go where, all you do is go down to the library of clips and you click on whichever clip you want. You hold down your left mouse button and you drag that particular clip to the timeline. You may get a warning that says that your video clip and your timeline are different. If you get this message, don't worry about it. Just hit OK. It'll change the timeline or it'll change your videos. This happens when you like record your videos at 60 frames per second, but your videos at 30. I recorded these videos at 60 frames per second. That's why I got that particular error. On your video, there might be some extra space that you don't want on that particular clip. So we're going to take a quick look at the slice tool. What you need to do is hit the slice tool and then go to that particular position in your video that you want to cut off and click that particular point on the timeline. Then kind of move your mouse over that white line until it turns red and click there again. And then you'll notice that you have two different clips. And after that, just delete the one that you don't want. You can adjust the position of clips on your timeline by clicking that particular clip, holding down the left mouse button, and dragging the clip wherever you want it. For this particular video, I decided that I didn't need to keep the audio that was originally with the video clip. So to get rid of that particular audio, you right click on the clip and you go to unlink. And this will detach the audio and video, and then you just delete the audio portion of that clip. So here I continue to add more clips onto the timeline. I had a total of three. I add them to the timeline and I detach their audio. And later on, I will add my own audio to this particular video. Now that we have our clips on the timeline, Let's add a few transitions so that our video can look a little bit better. So click on the effects button or tab and go down to transitions video and let's click the cross dissolve. Now you want to hold down your left mouse button and have it selected with the particular transition that you want and you want to drag that onto the timeline at the beginning or the end of the clip that you want to transition into another clip. Once this is placed on the timeline, you can adjust it. The way that you adjust it is you move your mouse over that particular area where the transition is, and you'll see that it kind of turns green. Then you want to hold down the left button, and you can pull it to the left or to the right. Now, once we have all of our transitions in place, you might want to add audio. Typically, when I add audio, I just get it from the YouTube library because I don't want to have to deal with any copyright stuff. You import audio the exact same way that you import your video clips. You just go to import and then you choose the particular file. Like the video clips, you just drag it onto the timeline. Once you get all of your video clips and audio clips in place, it's time to export our video, or shall I say, render the video. First, I'm going to save the project in case something goes wrong during the rendering process. Then I'm going up to export. From here, you decide your rendering type. So we want it to be for YouTube or MP4, and then we hit export. And when we're done, we're greeted with the menu to allow us to play the video. And see, that is our final video. And that is the very basics for creating a video in Second Life. Of course, there are more techniques that you can learn along the way. But if you're just getting started and maybe you just want to record a dance routine or something, I think that this is a good start. That is it for now. 
Take care and remember pretty pixels and pretty voxels take time. Bye.